Hello, everyone, and welcome to the West Virginia Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Officers Virtual College Fair. We want to thank you all for joining us tonight. A few quick housekeeping announcements before we get started. Um, students and families, you can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are turned off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. Um, this is just one of multiple different sessions happening, so please be sure to sign up for additional sessions if you're interested. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at the same website where you registered. Um, and for now, I'm going to turn it over to our first presenter of the night, uh, and that is Bethany College. Okay, hey, thank you. Let's get my PowerPoint up and we'll get moving. There we go. Okay, perfect. Well, hello everybody, good evening. Welcome to my portion of our presentations this evening on Bethany College. My name is Stephanie Bell. I am a senior enrollment counselor at Bethany and I work with all of our prospective students from West Virginia. So I will be your primary contact throughout your entire um, admissions process. Bethany College is located in the northern panhandle of West Virginia. Because of our close proximity to our neighboring states, you can see um, on this second map here why our student population is so spread out. Ohio, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Maryland, and Florida are where the majority of our students come from, but we do currently have state students on campus um, from 26 states, and we also have students from 14 international countries on our campus as well. Bethany is a private liberal arts college that offers over 60 majors and minors and eight pre-professional programs, all of which you can see on this um, slide. The top five majors from this year's freshman class, just in terms of popularity and numbers, were physical education and sports studies, biology, management, communications and media arts, and social work. I do think it's also important to recognize that about 8 to 10 percent of our classes every year come in as undecided. Um, at Bethany, students have until the end of their sophomore year to formally declare that major. So that means you have four semesters of classes that you can take in your liberal arts core, while you also take any introductory level classes in any of the majors that you are interested in. Choosing a college is all about finding the right fit for you, and we know that student life is a big part of that for you. Bethany is a residential campus, which means that all of our students live in on-campus housing. Students live in a variety of housing options though, ranging from traditional residence halls to suite style housing and apartment style. Housing selection for first year students is done based on the date of your tuition deposit. Students have two options for dining on our campus. Ogden Dining Hall, which you see here, is our largest dining facility and serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner daily. Every student has an unlimited meal plan in here, so no need to worry or keep track of weekly swipes or available dollars. Um, from everyday staples like pizza, pasta, and a salad bar to a variety of changing menu items, you will absolutely always find something very good to eat in here. Our other dining location on campus is called The Hub, and that's what you see in this photo. Um, students have $100 per semester on their meal plan to spend here. Um, the Hub is a full-service Starbucks location and also offers um, daily selections like pre-made sandwiches, salads, soups, and snacks. Bethany is an NCAA Division III athletics institution and the only Division III college in West Virginia. With 22 sports and a co-ed equestrian team, roughly 70% of our student body are student athletes, and some of them are even multi-sport athletes. If you are interested in continuing to compete in your sport after high school, I definitely recommend filling out the recruiting questionnaire on our athletics website or reaching out to our coaches to express your interest and learn about the recruiting process. Whether you, are, whether you are involved in college athletics or not though, there are many, many opportunities to be involved on campus. Student Activities Council, Drama Club, Greek Life, um, Student Government, Athletic and Murals, these are just a few of the many clubs and organizations that are available to our students. Student Activities Council plans 
fun and exciting events throughout the year for our students to enjoy, such as bingo nights, trivia nights, movie nights, and plenty of off-campus trips. In the past, we've gone to places like Pirate Games, Cleveland Cavalier Games, Cedar Point, Top Golf, ice skating, again, just to name a few. The best part, though, is all of these trips are free for Bethany students. If you are a high school senior, applications are still open for your class. If you are a high school junior, applications will be open for you in August. Applying to Bethany is always free. You can apply using the Bethany application on our website or the Common application. We have absolutely no preference on which one you use, so it is totally up to you. Bethany is a test optional college, so you do not have to submit test scores if you do not want to. If you do choose to apply test optional, your application will be considered complete after we receive that application itself, plus your official high school transcripts. You can then expect to receive your admission decision letter in the mail within just a few weeks from that time. Financial aid will begin as soon as you are accepted to Bethany. On this screen, you'll see some of our commonly awarded scholarships and grants. All students are, um, all accepted students, are considered for a merit scholarship of up to $20,000 per year. And this scholarship is determined based on your cumulative high school GPA. Our Presidential Honors and KLON Leaders Scholarships are our three competitive scholarships that we offer. The selection process is already complete for this year, but if you are a high school junior, pay attention to your email in the near future to start learning about these opportunities. Our $1,000 Renewable Visit Grant is available to any student who schedules and attends their first campus visit through our enrollment office. We are currently hosting both virtual visits and limited on-campus visits to qualify for that grant. We also accept most outside scholarships, so if you have received something, just let your enrollment counselor know so we can make sure it is eligible at Bethany. To wrap up, I just want to share some different responses from some of our current students about why they chose to come to Bethany. I think one of the most important things about the college search process is to understand that everyone's different and everyone is really just looking for a college that feels like home. I hope at least one of the reasons that you see on this screen connects with you and makes you want to apply to Bethany. And then here's my contact information and all of our social media handles if you want to take a quick photo, um, reach out anytime. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Um, second, we are going to go over to Blue Ridge Community and Technical College. All righty. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Izzy Kowalski. I'm an admissions counselor at Blue Ridge CTC, and we're located in Martinsburg, West Virginia. Um, I'm also joined by my coworker, Hope Spriggs, who might actually be fielding the questions later um, during this presentation. So, real quick about Blue Ridge we are a community and technical college, which means you know, we can only offer up to an associate's degree, but we focus on mostly hands on programs that get in, get out as quick as possible, hopefully with a nice paying job. Our other majors that we also offer are going to be workforce development. Maybe you already have a job that you love. You just want to kind of learn more about it and also learn how to kind of move up in that field as well as university transfer. You can absolutely start with us, take a couple classes, maybe take an entire degree and then transfer to a four-year university of your choice. We can absolutely help you with that. I love telling people we can be um, your first step, your last step or your only step with, um, with education. So some big differences since we, I think, I believe we're the only community college on this call. Um, Big differences between community colleges and universities. Of course, we're only going to offer up a, up to a two year degree, um, as well as we have no dorms. So everyone kind of comes and goes as they please and, you know, goes home at night um, at the end of the day. We do focus more on those career ready programs. We are on the smaller side, as well as we are about half the price. Um, and of course, you have an abundance of transfer opportunities where you can either transfer an entire degree to another college or, you know, just a couple classes or however many or however few, um, depending on the program. And we also have a very diverse class age. Not everyone is right out of high school. So it's really fun. You might be in class with, you know, someone you graduated high school with or, you know, someone who's old enough to be a parent or your parent or a grandparent. So it's kind of fun. You kind of get to meet everyone from different walks of life. So some of the degree programs that we offer, a little bit of everything, business, criminal justice, culinary arts. We actually just got a food truck. <laughs> um, education, EDT, if you wanna be an electrical line worker, healthcare professions, if you wanna go into nursing or paramedic, 
um, liberal arts, IT, and anything like megatronics and robotics as well. We have a little bit of everything from, you know, engineering to, you know, if you want to do more healthcare or if you just want to take some classes and transfer, we can help you out with that as well. So just some of our student services, we are on the smaller side. However, we are going to offer all the cool stuff, just like um, academic support, tutoring, mentoring, student activities. We, um, when we were back in person, we used to have so many activities, you know, every week there'd be something, always free food around, which is awesome. And we are also doing uh, virtual activities currently, um, you know, via Zoom, there might be a caricature artist for a couple hours, you can kind of log on when you have time and they can just draw you via Zoom, open mic nights, all sorts of things. Um, and then of course, career services, if you're looking for, um, you know, a career, if you need help finding a job after you finish with us, absolutely, we can help you with that as well as help you on maybe figure out what the best field for you is. So real quick, our tuition rates, we do have very low tuition rates in the area. We are located in Martinsburg, West Virginia, which is the Eastern Panhandle um, in Berkeley County. So we are close to Maryland, PA and Virginia as well. But your in-state tuition is 172 per credit hour. So long story short, for a semester about $2,000 or so. Um, and we also work with other counties in the area and the surrounding states of PA, Maryland and Virginia. And those rates are listed right there. So real quick about our financial aid, just like any other school, you need to fill out your FAFSA form. And there's our school code listed there as well. Of course, that will let you know what you're eligible for, grants, loans, work study, all that good stuff. Um, we do accept most uh, scholarships as well. So absolutely go on scholarships.com, use the Scholarly app, do what you need to do and trying to find um, that free money that's just kind of sitting there waiting for someone to apply for it. Um, we also have a foundation that raises money for scholarships as well. And that's gonna be found on their website. One big thing I wanna to mention to you is the West Virginia Invest Grant. It just started last year. It's only specific for West Virginia community colleges. Long story short, as long as you've lived in West Virginia for the last year, you can pay and pass a drug test every semester and do two hours of unpaid community service each semester, take at least six credit hours a semester and promise to live within the state for two years after your program. The state will pay for your program. And about 97% of the programs we offer, certificates and degrees are covered under this. So this is really great. This is not income-based. So if you fill out your FAFSA, maybe you're only eligible for loans. Awesome, awesome deal, okay? Um, so how we get started with Blue Ridge, we'll just need an application. You can apply right online, blueridgectc.edu. If you're a high school senior, we will actually accept you without your um, high school transcripts. We will just need them when they're available after you graduate. We are also test optional. We do not require test scores. So if you didn't take the SAT or ACT, or maybe you didn't like your scores, that's fine. We might be able to get you in the placement test just so we know where you place, but absolutely no testing is required before you're admitted. But pretty much we just need that application. Um, and of course we'll get those transcripts later on. You'll get an acceptance email and go from there. So why Blue Ridge? We have 60 plus programs and a little bit of everything. Um, we are on the lower price side. So if you wanna start with us, save some money, move on. If you're iffy about what you wanna do, it's a great place to start. You can kind of figure out what you like and what you don't like. And last but not least, um, there is our contact information. You can check out our website as well as email us, myself and Hope both have our text numbers on there as well. We are only doing virtual visits for the time being. Thanks so much. Thank you really much. Um, next up, we're gonna go to Bluefield State College. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Anthony Underwood and I'm the Chief Enrollment Officer at Bluefield State College. Let me uh, share my screen with everyone. And, sorry. Okay, can everyone see that? Yep. Great. Okay, so um, it's my pleasure to talk about and welcome you to uh, Bluefield State College uh, tonight. Um, uh, again, I'm Dr. Anthony Underwood, uh, and there's my contact information. You're welcome to 
take a quick picture of that with your phone so that you have it with you. You're welcome to contact me at any time. So what makes Bluefield State unique? We're 125 years old and we have a proud Appalachian tradition of academic and professional success. We have 13 students for every instructor. So our classes are small and provide personal attention to every student. Classes are taught by faculty. We do not use teaching assistants. So the experts are in the room with you. We've recently been ranked in the top 15 among higher education institutions in the Southern United States. And we currently feature 100% placement rates for both our nursing and radiological technology and imaging science programs. We have both two and four year programs in both areas and they are supported by high tech patient simulators. We feature world champion robotics teams um, led by our engineering and computer science students. Uh, we, uh, we also have national and regional award winners in business planning and we have a small town family field. Uh, we are located in the city of Bluefield. Uh, it's very close to major highways and just a quick day trip to many of the major cities in the South and Mid-Atlantic where many of our students go for either recreation, uh, to take in a little culture, or also to go to things like academic conferences and check out graduate schools. It is a great time to become a Big Blue. Uh, we have just uh, added 10 new sports beginning this fall, including a return of football to campus since the early 80s. Um, we are also featuring our very first Big Blue marching band this fall. So band students absolutely have great options at Bluefield State. Um, we are uh, uh, bringing brand, a brand new uh, select program for paid internships. Um, and uh, we off, we're going to be offering multiple on-campus residence halls for the first time in nearly six decades. We're really excited about that. Um, and one of those halls will be on a, a new dedicated medical arts campus, just a couple of miles from the main campus that will debut this fall. Uh, and it will have not only the labs and lecture places that you need for those majors, your professors will have offices right there and your dormitories will be right there all in one location. It's going to be a great facility. As mentioned, I've mentioned some of these already, but these are our academic programs. The Paul Cole Junior School of Business has everything from accountancy to business administration, health service management, and sports management and many things in between. Um, lots of hands-on and internship opportunities there. We also have a School of Education, Social Sciences and Humanities for our future teachers, lawyers, uh, criminal justice professionals, um, and social science researchers. We have a School of Science, Technology, Engineering and Math featuring both two and four year degrees in engineering and computer science. And in fact, the only four year engineering degrees in our region. Um, School of Nursing and Allied Health uh, features, uh, as you may surmise, both two and four year degrees in nursing, but also two and four years deg degrees in radio radiologic technology and imaging science, um, and, and even an accelerated program for LPN to RN. To apply at Bluefield State, uh, you simply go to bluefieldstate.edu and either click apply now or finish typing out slash apply. There's no fee for that. There has never been a fee to apply for to Bluefield State and there never will be. Uh, we will need your official high school transcripts. Please send those as soon as possible. You can worry about the final ones later. We just need the current ones at the moment uh, to get you started. Uh, we typically do require ACT, SAT scores, but not this year. Uh, the pandemic has made that difficult for students and we, and we do not wanna pile on. So we, will not, we are not using scores this year for admission, um, though we will accept them for scholarship. They're not even necessary for scholarship this year. We can still help you out on that front. So we are looking for a minimum high school GPA of 2.0. Uh, financial aid, we need you to complete your FAFSA uh, as soon as possible. Don't wait, we'll be happy to help. If you have any questions, just let us know. And we're very affordable. Uh, as a four-year inst public institution in West Virginia, um, for in-state students, uh, based on this, fall, this past fall's tuition, uh, our tuition and regular fees are three thousand seven hundred and ninety-two dollars per semester. Per semester, and that's before we even begin to talk about our uh, substantial scholarship programs. So, 
We do have foundation and leadership scholarships, hundreds of thousands of dollars, as a matter of fact. And we, uh, the deadline for that is April 1st. Um, we also have academic scholarships that you don't really even have to apply for. You simply have to gain conditional admission, just apply and send us your transcripts, and we'll calculate what academic scholarship you're eligible for. And that starts at either a GPA, a high school GPA of 3.0 or an ACT of 20 or an SAT of 1030, or if you have both, we'll use both. But either way, you're still going to be eligible for the same amount of scholarships. And you can apply that. You can see our application uh, uh, URL at bluefieldstate.edu slash scholarships. As a division two school in the NCAA, we also offer athletic scholarships. Uh, the Promise Scholarship pays for our tuition and regular fees. And we have a blue and gold plan that provides free tuition for West Virginia resident students who are eligible for full Pell um, and, and in one of our in one of our in-demand majors. Um, so we're really excited to be able to offer that as well. As mentioned before, we now have 20 athletic programs, including, as I mentioned, football, but also swimming, uh, women's soccer, uh, men and women's golf, acrobatics and tumbling, and more. So feel free to take a picture there. Um, our athletes are incredible students, and in fact, the athletes' average GPA is higher than the average student. So they work hard and they do well in, in the classroom, and we and we make sure that they can. Here are some important contacts I'd like for you to have. Um, these tell tell you how to apply uh, for for admission, for scholarships, for financial aid. We do have a brand new interactive virtual tour that has been very popular online. We invite you to go to that URL and try it out, uh, but you can also go to that URL and schedule a live in-person visit. We've been live and in-person since July 1, and we use CDC guidelines, um, and so we're very safe on campus, but you can come visit us on campus. Uh, there's also information to contact the coach, the admissions office, or the financial aid office. Thank you very much for being here tonight and for inviting us to make you familiar with Bluefield State College. Um, so uh, just apply and we'll be happy to help you reach your goals. Thank you. Thank you. And we're gonna go on to our fourth school for tonight and that is St. Leo University. Awesome, Kelsey, thank you so much. I am just going to share my screen. Awesome. So thank you everyone for taking some time out of your evening um, to learn about these great institutions. So St. Leo University is located in Tampa Bay, Florida. So if anyone's looking to get out of that cold weather right now um, in West Virginia, definitely feel free to come on down to the Sunshine State. My name is Connor Schaefer and I'm one of the assistant directors here at St. Leo University. I'm actually a proud alumni of my undergrad and graduate program. So um, I came to St. Leo from the Northeast. So if anyone's looking to go a thousand miles away from home, I've lived it. Um, didn't know I was gonna do that until I toured the campus, but definitely feel free to reach out um, with my contact information below. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, I will be your admissions counselor. So what is St. Leo University all about? St. Leo, we actually are, we are founded in 1889 and we are the oldest Catholic institution in the state of Florida. We're actually the second largest Catholic institution in the country based on our enrollment, serving over 20,000 students around the globe. Now, if you visit campus tomorrow, you are gonna say, Connor, I do not see 20,000 students on this campus and you are correct. So on our university campus here in Tampa, we only have about 3,000 undergraduate students here on main campus. We have different educational centers in the South and also the online program as well. So it's pretty cool because even though you are here on campus in a small classroom size, about 14 to one, you're gonna have a small classroom education environment, but a large school networking system and the perks you might get at a larger university as well. At the bottom of your screen, you can see the student population. So we have over 100 different countries represented in our student population and 44 different states. So you never know who you're gonna be sitting next to in a class. It could be someone from England, Brazil, or anywhere around the globe. St. Leo is currently ranked number four in the South this year for best value. So you know you're gonna get a great education here at St. Leo. Our application, you can either apply for free on our website or through the common application. 
It's a pretty simple process. We just need your application and a transcript. We are test optional. We've been test optional. So if any freshmen, sophomore, juniors are watching today, do not worry. We will still be test optional for you in the future. We do have over 50 different academic programs throughout our four different colleges here at St. Leo. Um, some of our popular, we have three plus one programs, three plus three for law students. So we do have a partnership with Barry University down in Miami or Florida State for law school. We are thriving in the medical field besides our pre-med majors. We just added this past year our BS in health education and health promotions. And this coming fall, we are super excited to announce we have our brand new BS in nursing. If anyone is worried about going out of state for school, we are the safest campus in the state of Florida and seventh in the nation as well. So you're never gonna worry about feeling unsafe at St. Leo's campus. Campus life, I always said as a student that we have many different things going on. If you are bored at St. Leo, it's truly because you're just not taking advantage of what it has to offer. We do offer daily mass for students that want to embrace their faith a little bit more. We are NCAA Division II Athletics through the Sunshine State Conference. We have over 22 different athletic programs here at St. Leo, and we have one of the top Division II athletic programs in the country. We have Greek Life, over 70 different clubs and organizations, an esports program, intramurals, the list goes on and on. What really got me excited about going to St. Leo was its on and off campus trips. So we bring our students to places like Disney World, Universal, um, I've done indoor skydiving. The professional sports teams were actually the exclusive educational partnership to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers who just won the Super Bowl. So our students get to enjoy those perks as well. We are a residential campus. So we have about 14 different residential halls on campus to choose from. We also just opened up, I always said it's not St. Leo unless there's new things on campus. We did just open up our Benedict's Coffee House this past year, which serves Starbucks products. And then also we have our brand new wellness center, which will be opening in the fall and actually will have the largest infinity pool at a college in the state of Florida. So we're super excited about that. Housing, just some highlights at the bottom. We were actually ranked number um, in the top 10 of the nicest dorms in the country article a few years ago. And then also on this, your screen to the right, it kind of shows you just where we are. We're about 30 minutes from downtown Tampa and about an hour west of Orlando. So we have a lot of great um, opportunities in the area if you're interested in just to learn about a different state or experience something different. So again, just to kind of give you a brief overview, just so you are aware, um, at St. Leo University, we do actually have tours on campus. If um, you do want to schedule a tour, definitely visit our website under the schedule tour visit. You can come physically on campus. I always recommend that to students. That I never thought I was gonna go a thousand miles away from home. And then next thing you know, I toured the campus and I was ready to move in. Um, so you never know what it would be like to tour a campus. Also for someone that might be not able to get down to campus as quickly or with, before making a decision, we do have our virtual tour on our website. So definitely make sure to take advantage of that as well. If you do have any questions or anything, again, here is my contact information. Um, like I said, I've gone through the process, especially going from out of state. So if there's anything I could do to make your lives a little bit easier, please definitely don't hesitate to reach out. But thank you again for your time today. And I hope you all have a great day. And as always, go Lions. Thank you so much, Connor. And now we're gonna go over to our last college in the night and that is Concord University. Thank you, Kelsey. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. So uh, my name is Marcus Merle. I'm an admission counselor for Concord University. Concord is located in Athens, West Virginia, which is a, in the very southern tip of the state of West Virginia. <clears throat> so there's state of West Virginia, and you can see the little paw print is us. We're located in Mercer County. Uh, Concord is a pub public liberal arts uh, university, which was founded in 1872. We offer over 60 different undergraduate majors, majors minors, and programs of study. And also each and every year we offer over $21 million in financial aid. 
So Concord University does go by our uh, threshold, admis uh, threshold admissions. <laughs> our minimum GPA for acceptance is a 2.0. However, we would like to see a 2.5 in your core classes. Uh, we actually are test optional for fall 2021. However, typically we do require SAT or ACT scores and as a minimum of an 18 on the ACT or a 950 on the SAT. If you do decide to start at a different university or community college, we also do offer a uh, transfer admission and all we need is your college transcript for transfer admission. So at Concord, we have over 110 full-time faculty and 73% of our faculty hold their highest obtainable degree. Our average classroom size is about 14 students, so you will be learning from your professors. Uh, none of our classes are taught by students or graduate students, so really that personal experience that you get inside the classroom is something that we are proud to offer. Also on Concourse campus, we do offer many different programs on performing arts. That can be anything from band, marching band, choir, we have a jazz ensemble and some uh, other pretty nice programs. Uh, you will see a radio station, uh, which is pictured that is on our campus. We do have a radio and television station. So if you are interested in mass communications, uh, we actually offer many programs where you can also get some uh, hands-on experience in your undergraduate studies. At Concord, we also have many different student activities. We have over 60 different clubs organizations. Our clubs organizations uh, range from scholarship organizations, faith-based organizations, multicultural organizations, and even Greek life. So plenty of different organizations on campus. We do encourage you, uh, all of our students to get involved in some kind of uh, organization. It's a great time in college to get outside your comfort zone and really get to uh, experience all the wonderful things that can uh, lay ahead of you. We are also very fortunate for our location because we are a very popular place for outdoor recreation. We are about five miles north of uh, Pipestone State Park, which is one of the uh, top rated parks inside the state of West Virginia. We're also uh, only 20 minutes from Winter Play Ski Resort. So whether it's hiking, mountain biking, white water rafting, you can uh, fully experience all of those things within less of an hour commute from our campus. So uh, if you are someone who loves the outdoors, Concord may be a great place for you. Concord University is also an NCAA Division II school. We do have 16 different athletic programs. As a Division II school, we do offer athletic scholarship. However, that's offered at the discretion of the coaches and they are talent-based. We also do have an esports program. Our uh, esports Call of Duty team just won the National Team Test Before by Four tournament. We are very excited about that. We uh, won a $10,000 prize. Last year, we were runner ups in the College Call of Duty tournament. So uh, we're pretty excited to uh, get back and hopefully compete for another national championship. At Concord, we do have about six different residence halls on our campus for approximately 700 students. Uh, we have some unique housing options, which include academic, organizational, and substance free. And we do have parking for all students. Even freshmen are allowed to bring their cars to campus. We also have dining options. Our dining options were sometimes very enticing to me and a big uh, played a big role in my decision to go to Concord. We have a wonderful cafeteria, which is all you can eat. Also on our campus, we have Starbucks, Subway, and Wingspan. We have some different meal plan options. That way you can get some flex dollars to use at our separate locations from our cafeteria, but the meal swipes in the cafeteria do renew each week. Also, we do prioritize public safety. Uh, safety and security is very important to us. All of our campus police officers are unified officers which are trained by the West Virginia State Police Academy. So uh, we do take pride in keeping our campus a safe place in the town of Athens. Our town and our campus community uh, really has a wonderful relationship and it has attributed to uh, more of a family feeling environment on our campus. Uh, we do offer merit-based scholarship. Our scholarship awards begins at 3.0 GPA. 
Um, for 2021, you actually do not have to submit a test score to qualify for scholarship along with that 3.0. However, uh, if you do decide to take the SAT or ACT, you can actually raise your merit scholarship award. Our merit scholarships uh, begin at 960 on the SAT or 18 on the ACT along with that 3.0. The higher you score, the more money you qualify for. That can go all the way up to full tuition, room and board. Uh, Studentloans.com in 2018 actually found that Concord University was ranked number one in the state of West Virginia and number 49th in the country for the amount of scholarship and aid that we offer to our undergraduate students. Last but not least, I do encourage you to get social with Concord. Uh, we do have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. We also have TikTok. So I do encourage you to follow us on social media. That way you can keep up with our campus. Uh, I also encourage you to uh, schedule a campus visit. We do offer on-campus visits Monday through Friday, and every week we're offering Zoom events for a virtual tour as well. So it'd be great to get out and see the campus beautiful. Uh, we also will offer one Saturday visit each and every month. So if you cannot necessarily make it throughout the week, we do wanna make sure we can accommodate your visit on the weekend. And here you can find our contact information. Uh, once again, I'm Marcus Merle. My contact information is on the top right corner. So if you have any questions about Concord, please feel free to reach out to me. I am a con proud Concord graduate, and I look forward to hopefully hearing from you soon. Thank you very much. So now that you've learned a little bit about all five of our schools, um, we're going to go round robin and just let every college answer one or two questions for you guys to give you a little insider um, information. So the first question I have for our panelists are, what is your favorite event or tradition on campus? And we'll just go in the order that you presented and um, you can just quickly share your favorite event or on campus tradition with students. So Bethany College, we have um, some really, really pretty historic old iron gates that were donated to us back in the early 1900s. Um, and our students only passed through those gates twice during their entire four year college career once when they during matriculation when they officially become a student. And then second time upon graduation, they walk out and leave campus for that last time. And I love it because the students come in and they're excited they're happy to be there but on graduation they're all crying because they don't want to leave. Alrighty, one of my favorite events. Um, something a little different but along those lines in Martinsburg we are a um, community college, so we're focusing more on the working percentage. Um, but we have an event on campus and it's called the career day for our EDET program. That's a lineman program. We offer a one year certificate and a two year associates. But what's really exciting about this program is with the career day, um, a lot of times people aren't expecting it and they'll go ahead and they'll try out in a way and a lot of times they'll leave with a job and so that can really change a lot of people's future and mean a lot for families in the community. Um, I, we have a lot of things that, that, that are special about the campus, especially when you're in uh, a 125 year old HBCU there's there's tons of history and tradition here, uh, but I still think. Um, that probably the most important uh, tradition and the, the thing that has the most pride for us is, is simply graduation. Um, it's so, and I know uh, many other schools here do this as well. We, we, we work with populations that are very much first generation, much exactly like me, and it means so much. And this past year with COVID, uh, when a lot of folks were challenged with even having graduation, uh, we managed to pull a live graduation off. We did it at the football stadium. We spread out the entire class on the on the football field. There, everybody had about 10 feet of personal space. Uh, families were in the stands, very spread out. It was just too important to see that long navy blue line uh, make its way uh, through the graduation process to, to, to give up on. And I'm very proud of us for making that a live event for so many families for whom it was the first such event. So here at St. Leo, we have a really cool program it's called International Food Night. Um, so having over a hundred countries represented in our student population, basically a lot of our international students will bring a dish from their 
um, home country. So imagine having um, potentially a hundred different types of food or platters from around the world. It's just really kind of cool to see what might be um, more norm at those those students' countries versus someone that grew up in the United States, food-wise. <laughs> At Concord, uh, we like to call all of our alumni and their families our mountain lion family. So one thing that's very special at Concord would be our um, homecoming bonfire. So we do have a tradition, uh, you know, West Virginia, you probably heard about bonfires to go on here. Uh, so uh, we do have a tradition right in the valley in the middle of our campus each and every year for the homecoming football game. Unfortunately, it was missed because of COVID. Uh, we do have a bonfire also typically with a concert and uh, some food or refreshment. So it is pretty exciting to uh, get to bring all of campus together for a special event. Those are some great traditions and stories. So thank you all for sharing. Um, we only have, you know, two or three minutes left. So I will pose one last question. And if anyone wants to quickly give their input on it to students, um, just what advice would you give someone that's going through the college search process? So if anyone wants to speak that real quick, feel free to share. Uh, I'll share advice. Um, some advice I would give to any student going through the college search process is to visit before you attend the college. Um, it is great to know that the college that you go to will be a good fit for you. Um, there are many different types of colleges out there and there are many different places and settings where you might feel comfortable calling your, calling home. So it's very important to go and actually visit the campus or at least during these times do a virtual visit. But I'll encourage uh, every student who sees this to definitely visit visit the campus that you're considering going to. On that note, I would also add, don't count anyone out. Um, I know when I was growing up, I didn't think about attending a community college. And then now learning about the opportunities we offer at Blue Ridge, I almost want to go back in time and see if I could redo my college experience. So definitely keep everywhere in mind. Check your local community colleges out. Check Blue Ridge Community Technical College out, but make sure you're choosing the right option for you. I would say ask any question that is on your mind, even if it's a question like, do you have pizza and is it good? Any type of question that you're thinking that's important to you is important for us to be able to answer. So don't be shy. I agree with all of them. <laughs> well, thank you so much to our five presenters, you guys shared some great information about your schools, um, as well as some great tidbits for our students. So with that being said, we're gonna finish up our session for the night. Thank you all so much for joining us. When you close this window, there'll be a link to a very quick four question survey, and we'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. Also, this was just one of multiple sessions being hosted. So please be sure to check out some additional ones. In about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all the other sessions recordings if you wanna go back and watch any. So thank you all so much. Thank you to our presenters and everyone have a great night and stay safe.